Let's go on a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage of the English language. If you go on a pilgrimage, it means you go on a journey to somewhere that is considered special. To understand more about the English language, we must go on a pilgrimage to England in the 14th century. Excellent! So here we are in the 14th century with the pilgrims. They are the people who are going to be joining me on this pilgrimage. So everyone, are you excited to learn more about the English language? Oops! I forgot that in the 14th century, English was very different. The pilgrims speak Middle English. It's very different to the modern English we speak today. They don't understand me. In the 14th century, English wasn't the international language that we know today. It was only a spoken language used by ordinary people in England. French and Latin were the academic languages used in literature, and it would have been very unusual to find a book written in English. However, in the 14th century, a story about a pilgrimage changed everything. Geoffrey Chaucer is our guide and he's going to show us the way. He wrote a story about a pilgrimage called the Canterbury Tales and it was written in English. The story sets off in an inn in London. That means it begins in that place. And the story ends up in Canterbury. That means it finishes in that place. The Canterbury Tales was the first piece of popular English fiction that paved the way for many incredible English writers to follow. If we pave the way, it means we show the path and the direction to follow. Incredible authors follow the path and today we have millions of amazing stories originally written in English. You can continue the journey that began with Geoffrey Chaucer and the story of a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage of storytelling.